Hi guys, I'm Steven. As you can see on the slide, my topic for today is key wireless charging. Before we start to talk about the physics behind the wireless charging is, let me introduce the two major parties in wireless charging technology field, WPC and AFA. WPC builds the key standards which most of the wireless charging phones support now. The other one, AFA builds PWA standards. Basically, both of these standards are based on electromagnetic induction phenomenon. What is this electromagnetic induction? By Faraday's law, putting a loop of wire into a changing magnetic field and then it induces a current in that wire. Let us discuss it in detail by looking at the following slides. In this slide, you can see a loop of coil, a magnet, and a gale phenometer. The gale phenometer is for measuring the induced amp caused by the magnetic field change of a coil of wire. Obviously, the magnet on the right is providing a magnetic field change by moving forward and backward. According to Faraday's law, the changing magnetic field of a coil of wire will cause an induced amp in the coil. If the conductor circuit is closed, the induced amp brings the induced current. Okay, let's take a look at Faraday's law in a mathematic way. This is Freddy's law formula, minus n times the derivative of magnetic flux over T equals to n. Inside this formula, there's a term called magnetic flux. The magnetic flux is a measurement of the total magnetic field which passes through a given area. Above equation is its formula. B and A are all factors. Their cross product equals magnetic flux. Magnetic flux is a useful tool for helping describe the effect of the magnetic force on something occupying a given area. Back to the Freddy's law formula, we can notice that there's a minus sign. The minus sign indicates the direction according to Lenz law. Lenz law says that the induced magnetic field in a loop of wire will oppose the change in magnetic flux through the loop. If you try to increase the flux through a loop, the induced field will oppose that increase. If you try to decrease the loop flux through a loop, the induced field will replace that decrease. At the end of the video, let us see an application of the wireless charging. In the slide, you can see a smartphone and a charging state station. Inside the smartphone, there's a receiver coil and inside the changing board, charging board, there's a transmitter coil. AC current circulates in transmitter coil to create changing magnetic field. The changing magnetic field induces current in the receiver coil. At last, the rectifier inside the phone turns AC current into DC current to charge the phone, and that's how the wireless charging works. Okay, that's all for today's video. I hope that I explained everything clearly to you guys and you all enjoyed watching it. Thanks for watching and see ya!